What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, and welcome back to another unboxing video. Um, I, I know that a lot of you guys want me to do subscription boxes, and I do have some, but I have so many boxes from just stores where I've purchased things from that are just piling up, so I figured I'd just get these open. In this video, we're gonna be unboxing, we're gonna be doing another episode of What's in the Box? This is from FYE, and I'm pretty sure this is whatever we purchased from the New York Comic Con shared exclusives that they had. So I'm excited to open it. This box is not in the best condition, to be honest. It's a little bit damaged, but we're just gonna go with it. If uh, you're interested in getting whatever's in this box, if it's still available, I'll link it down below. I don't know if anything's still available or not, but we shall see. I am very excited about this, though, because this has the one pop that I've been waiting for, although it came in terrible condition because they shoved all the pops in here. Once you get the tape and you open the box, this is what you're going to see. So a bunch of different things. I'm going to save the best for last. So first item that we have is our CC... What's her last name? Parquet? I actually... I don't, oh, par Parquet, I guess. I, I don't even remember if they really say her last name all that much, but Cece is from New Girl. I love New Girl. And I have the whole collection right now, so I had to get this CC pop to add to that. And I'm very excited to have gotten her. This is a shared exclusive from the New York Comic Con this past fall, 2018. There's the set she comes from. Fairly straightforward. I don't think she was a super, like, hot commodity. I'm wearing a white shirt, and I feel like it's messing with the lighting so bad. Ugh. Um, but I wanted to make sure I added her. The other pop that I got was this Boris the Wolf. I don't collect bendy pops, but there are some bendy pops that I just, I'm really infatuated by the black and white, just like how they're black and white. I don't know. There was something about this one. I wasn't going to get it, but he was holding a can of bacon soup and I was like, okay, I definitely think I want this. So I picked it up. I figured why not? I was up late that night buying things online. Um, I do like this Comic-Con sticker. It's different than the other shared exclusives, so I thought that was pretty cool. You got your side view, and then this is the set that Boris the Wolf comes from. Bacon soup. I wonder if bacon soup is good. I love bacon, and I love soup. All right, next we have our Superman 3-pack. You know what I'm really upset about? I got the Hot Topic something and they canceled my order. I think they ran out of stock. I don't know what happened, but I was really disappointed about that from um, Hot Topic. But this is our three pack Chrome Superman. Uh, I'm not a huge DC fan, but Superman was, I've always had this love for Superman and I love Chrome Pops. So I just ended up getting this. I didn't want to regret not getting it. I kind of spent a little bit of time like, oh, do I want it, do I want it? You know, I had a little picture, I'm circling all the ones I wanted and I figured if it was still available that I would pick it up. So um, yeah, this is a cool one. I like this. God, I love chrome pops, you guys. Ugh. Okay, here's the pop I was really waiting for, and let's see what the box conditions are like, because these ones got shoved on the side of the box. There is some bulging, but nothing that can't be fixed by just flattening the box out a little bit. So yeah, not too bad. I did get two of these because... I, this is one of the pops that I was looking forward to the most. So we have two of our Professor Coral pops. These are the ones with the removable turban. I was unable to get my hands on the Amazon Okoye, which was disappointing. I'm still trying to figure out how to get it. Um, but I definitely wanted to get the Professor Coral because uh, I definitely, you know, I collect Harry Potter pops. So you guys, I'm getting so good at this like knife thing. I'm pretty impressed with my skills, I must say. Okay, so let's take this pop out because I want to see this removable turban. Uh, I don't know if Funko is gonna make this a, a new thing where they start, um, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't actually show you the box. I'm so sorry, okay. I should have opened this one, there's a little bit of a dent. So here's Professor Coral, and we're, we're gonna get an out of box look in a second. Here's the side, why is it not focusing? Is it focused, no? Focus. It keeps focusing on pork. Pork, go away. <laughs> There's the side view, and then this is this set. This is the new set of Harry Potter Pops that just came out. So I'm still trying to get my hands on all of these because I haven't been collecting the common, so yes. All right, let's take this bad boy out and check it out. So it has the pop, and it also comes with a base just to help stand. Although, I find a lot of times that these pops don't actually need bases unless they have really skinny, like, legs and feet. So he stands up pretty good. Now let's check this out. Wait, how do you take it off? Is this removable? 
Oh, there you go. Okay. Oh God, this is so freaking cool. Now I thought that these were going to be magnetic for some reason. It's not. You just shove it on and off of his head, which isn't ideal because there's this little piece on the back and I feel like the more you do it, the more it's going to scratch off the face of Voldemort who's on the back of this and then the paint potentially can get scratched off. Like it, I just feel like I'm scraping. I feel like I'm scraping this thing against their head. So that design's not necessarily ideal, but I mean, technically it's really like this. Well, it's not really like this. Obviously it's switched. Is this even on his head all the way? I can't tell. Oh, this is not as smooth as it seems like everyone. I feel like when people did it, it just seems way smoother. So here's our Professor Coral Pop. And He's got his turban that you can take off. And then on the back of his head, you have Voldemort's face, because you guys know. But the issue is like, man, I guess you're not really meant to put this on backwards though, right? Because technically, I mean, Voldemort never wore it. It's, it's just to cover up his face. Um, so yeah, okay. I, if you couldn't tell, I'm a tad bit disappointed. This just isn't as smooth of a process as I thought it was gonna be. So I'm a teeny bit disappointed, but I still like the Funko Pop. I still think it's a cool pop. I love how they did the two faces. Um, that's I think this is the first pop that I've ever received that has a face on the back of the head. I don't know if that's a normal thing. Like, I can't imagine that many people have that, but um, all in all, that's a cool pop. I, is the Koya the same way where it's like, you're literally like ripping her hair off? or I thought it was magnetized for some reason. There was a video I saw that it made it look magnetized, like it was, it was just a magnet, but I guess they wouldn't do that, right? That wouldn't make sense for Funko to put a magnet. It'd be cool though. It would be cool. All right. That, guys, is all I have for you. That was my FYE shared exclusive um, NYCC pop collection. I am very happy with this. Oh, my um, Boris is a little bit, oh, my Boris has a bunch of scratches on the top, but that's okay. I am happy with this. I am a little disappointed by the Professor Coral Pop. I've been really looking forward to that and it just isn't as cool as I thought. It wasn't as smooth as I thought it was going to be, so that caught me off guard. Anyways, that's all I have in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go check my channel. I have a whole bunch on there. And you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this haul. I think I was able to get almost everything that they had, or these are the things that I wanted, so I bought the things that I wanted. But let me know if you were able to get any of these. Did anyone feel the same way about the Professor Coral Pop? Does anyone know if the Okoye Pop is the same way? please let me know down below. Don't forget, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you will make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up shortly. Before we go, we must do the video shout out. Today's video shout out is gonna go to Pango. I don't know if you're Pango or Pango, but Pango, you get that video shout out. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, and supporting my channel. It sounds like you are new to Funko Pop collecting, so congratulations and welcome to the Funko Pop Club. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, to be honest. <laughs> um, but I appreciate you watching my videos. You're new to the channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so excited to have you on here as a new subscriber. Thank you for smashing that like button. I appreciate it greatly, and I want to give you the video shout out. So shout out to you, Pango! Shout out to you! All right, guys. I hope you have an amazing day, and I will see you guys next time. Ooh. Bye!